everyone. Welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and choosing to spend some time with me today. If you are new, I just want to say welcome to my channel. I hope that if you enjoy my content that you will consider subscribing and join this wonderful YouTube family that we have here. Today we're going to be doing a bill condensing video and it's as simple as condensing the bills in this binder. So we're gonna take our $1 bills and fives and tens and twenties, and we're gonna take those, bring, send those back to the bank and in its place, put larger bills like fifties and hundreds. So I am so excited to do this video because I haven't done one in a very, very long time. And I actually haven't done that many, but we are in need of doing one today. So I will admit, I know I filmed over 400 videos, but I am nervous about this video. So I'm just going to pretend that you guys aren't here and I'm just by myself talking to myself like I normally do. And I'm going to begin. And I thought it was important to tell you guys where the money is coming from. So for what I mean by that is a lot of times I'll start off this video and I'll have some $100 bills and some $50 bills. So normally I tell you guys, oh, I borrowed that from one of my accounts and then I'm gonna, once we have that switched out for all the smaller bills that were in the binders, that same amount I'll put back in the account I borrowed it from. That is normally what I do when I do a bill condensing, but that's not what we're gonna do today because I have not been good about using prop money. And if you don't know what prop money is, you will see. So I say we just go ahead and begin. We're gonna start with my bills sinking funds binder. So I have three binders that I stuff once a month and we're gonna go ahead and get into these. So this one isn't super thick, but you'll see how thin it gets when we're done. So I hope you enjoy this video. If it gets really long, I might split it up into two parts. I'm not sure. And yes, Diego is barking upstairs. So I keep my prop money in this cute little gummy bear pouch. So I have that handy. And we're basically gonna do my three sinking fund binders today. And my binders for my son and my daughter's future after college. So we're gonna do five binders and let's go ahead and begin. I am so excited. So these dashboards were filled up. So I just washed about five or six of them so we could start them over. So they look nice and clean. Our emergency fund is at 10,000, which was our goal. So I don't think we have any cash that's already been sent to the bank. So I have a bank account. I have a lot of savings accounts and one of them is named emergency fund. And in that emergency fund, there is a balance of $10,000. So I'll go ahead and actually show that right now. I'll have Matt put a picture up on the screen so you see that I really do have this money. This isn't just a game, this is real life. Thanks to all of you watching my videos and keeping me accountable, I was able to save that much. So we don't need to do anything with this, but we basically want to get money out of these binders and into the bank. So, and I haven't done that in a while. So I thought we'd start with that because you know what? This is not the right binder. I'm sorry that it says thou shalt not think about bills. So I thought that when I said, let's do my bills binder, I grabbed that. This is the binder where I save for my bills that are not monthly. So, and, and I'm not gonna go too much into detail. Let's just get into the bill condensing part. So sewer and water has zero in it. And then property taxes has 2,500. So let's see, we already have 2,000 in the bank. So that means this should be 500 right here. So we're gonna count it and make sure, of course. So 100, 200. 250, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 460, 70, 80, 90, 500. And let me separate the 20s and the 10s. So this is one way you can get a bill condensing going is if you have, if you do the same thing that I do and every time an envelope reaches 500, you put in a prop bill, then you can, and you have some that have extra money in them that need to go to the bank, you can start a bill condensing this way and you'll see it works great. So I need to pull out a $500 bill. So here is a $500 bit, uh, prop bill or fake bill. So we now have 2,500 
in property taxes represented by these bills. And I do have an account at the bank that says property taxes that has that amount in there. But we need to make sure that we deposit the money that we're taking out of these envelopes. I need to make sure that the this one goes to property taxes in my bank. So I'm not going to remember this. So I'm going to open my little Busy Lizzie's Budget notebook that you can find in my shop. And we're going to use that. So we're going to write down. So when I go and deposit the stack of money into my checking when we're all done, I'll know that I then need to transfer 500 to property taxes and so on. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna write, not neat, so I'm gonna write property, prop tax, and then I'm gonna write 500. So we know 500 of the money to the side goes to property taxes. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. So we're done condensing property taxes. So that one is finished. And now we have some larger bills to work with. So the next one is for my Subaru registration that is due every January, which is my birthday month. So it says we have 310. So now that because I have totals on these, it's gonna make this faster. So I know I can just put 10 aside and I should be able to bring out 300. So let's make sure, do we have, we don't have 300 in $100 bills, but that's okay, we can still condense it. So we have the 10 there and then 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 300. So that is 300, so we'll put that aside and get this tray filled up. So now we need smaller bills. So since it's not 500, we're not gonna do prop money and send it to the bank, but we'll do 100, 200, 250, 300. And we might need those 50s later. So I may, if I get another $100 bill, I might come back to this and remember it. But for now it is 310 and it's in the lowest number of denominations or lowest number of paper bills that I was able to get it. So, okay, so moving on, this next one is for sleep number bed. And little miss would rather stay in bed. I love that. So we have 750 in here. We already have 500 in the bank. So this should be 250. So I'll take the 50 aside and then this should be 200. And you know what? We already don't have enough 50s and hundreds and this doesn't usually happen. So I'm not sure what to do, you guys. So this is another reason why I wanted to do this with you guys to show you in real life what happens. Things don't always go smoothly for YouTubers, trust me. So we know we have 200 here, but all we have is a 50. So we have another 50. So we can take the 50 and put 20, 40, and 50 back. And that's really all we can do right now. So that kind of stinks, but let's see. So we have five, 550, six, 620, 640, 60, 80, 90, 700, 10, 20, 5, 35, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9, 50. Okay, and I just realized that anything that's, we can still do 20s. So let's see how much this is right here. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So let's do 20, 40, and 60. And then this is 10 right here. So then we'll put the 10 back, take a 10. And did we have one 10 or no? We didn't, so we can just keep that. Okay, so let me try to get this organized and let's make sure this is 750. So 500, 50, 600, 620, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 50. So we do have 750, as small as we can get it here. Okay. So we're done with this binder and look how thin that is, you guys. It's very thin and it will fit much better in our safe. So now we're gonna move on. Let me see if we have, I hope we have some larger bills in here. All right, we're just gonna see how this plays out because this binder definitely needs to be smaller. So we already talked about how there's 10,000 in the emergency fund with a prop bill. 
And now we're gonna move on. So Roth IRA, I don't have any money or any prop bills in here. So we don't have to worry about that. The next one is deductible. And we have $1,000 in here. So this we already have 500 in the bank. So that means all this money needs to go back to the bank. So let's see where I'm gonna write down, let's see, deductible, put deduct 500. So we're 500 of this, we're gonna put in the bank. So that means this should be 500. I'm gonna just check it. So 150, 253, 20, 40, 60, 84, 420, 30, 35, 40, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 500. So this is all going to the bank. So now we'll have some larger bills. So let me put this aside and we will move along. I did decide not to do every single binder I have because that would take a long time. So I did the ones that were just the thickest. And now we can trade in this 500 for a $1,000 placeholder. So I have a lot of different ones from different people. Let me see. Oh, oh, that's only 100. Okay, I'm gonna take these out because it'll just be easier to fan through them. So, ooh, 1,000. Let's use this one right here. $1,000, it's from our beautiful budget. So that was gifted to me, so thank you so much. We're gonna put this in to represent, I have $1,000 in my savings account that says deductible. And now we can keep going. So for travel, we have 1,500 in prop bills, but we have 2,300. So let's see, so 2,300 minus 1600, so 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So this should be $700. So that means that we probably need another, we need another 500 in prop money and then 300 extra. So let's, let's just make sure this is $700. So 152, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 5, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Wait a second. No, so I, I either did, I think I did something wrong. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some space and we're gonna just put these by hundreds because I'm struggle, I'm struggle busing this one. So there's two fifties, two more fifties. Five hundred, so sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred, eighteen hundred, nineteen hundred, two thousand, one, two, three hundred. 1,500, 1,700, 1,800, 1,900, 2,000, 1, 2, 300. So I just wanted to make sure all the money is there. We can only add 500 in prop money. So I'm going to put right here travel and 500 we're adding in prop money. So now here's what I'm going to do. I know these are by hundreds, so I have to separate them, but I am going to just put all this money back in because we know it's correct. And let's see, 20s, 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 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Okay, so we're going to take, we're going to trade this in for a 1,000. So we need to add 500. And so I'm gonna put this one back and let me see if I have a 1,000. I have all kinds of them, you guys. Let's use this one. So now in travel, we have the 2,000 that's gonna be in the bank and then we need 300 from here. So we'll just take it in the smallest denomination. So one, two, 300. So 2,300 in travel and that is all set. Okay, I hope I'm not confusing anyone or under explaining, over explaining. 
I'm tempted to just throw this video out the window because this was just going to be a bonus video. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and post it because I believe in being real with you guys. So not everything's going to be pretty and polished. And if it's the worst video you've ever seen, then, you know, it is what it is. So, but I am going to be brave and post it, even though I'm not happy with how it's going. Okay. So this is Addy. This is this $1,000 in the bank is for a high school graduation gift for her. And then this binder, we are doing savings challenges to gift her money when she graduates college as she has expressed an interest to go to college. So I'm hoping to save 5,000 for each kid for a college graduation gift. So and whenever we finish challenges, we're putting them in here. So above the 1,000, that is what we finished in challenges. So only 115, but that's good that we're starting to finish challenges. So this should have, so 1,000 and this should be 115. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we need 115 in the smallest possible bills. So we'll do a 10 and a 5. I'll take two fifties from the side and then this should equal the two fifties I just took. So let me put these away. Try to stay organized here. Okay. An extra slot for $1 bills if we get too many. So there we have 50, 100, 110, 115, 1,115. So that is exciting. And then this is for Max, same thing. This has 1,060. So we already have 1,000 and then 20, oh no, we can do a 50 and a 10. So 20, 30, 40, 55, 60. So we'll keep a 10 and put this back. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm doing. I'm trying not to explain every little tiny detail. So 1,060, I just made the 60 in two bills instead of more. So now we're done with our second binder. So this is moving along quickly. And look how skinny this one is. I really was having trouble fitting them in my safe. So this is really nice. Okay, so now this is the big kahuna. This is the one that is huge. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of this one. It's gonna be so satisfying. It does, look at it, it's, it's pretty much stands up. Okay, so we'll do it this way. So you'll see I wiped these clean because they were out of room and wrote the balance up there. So my nice new Sharpies that write in fine point. So we have 100 in here in post office. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 95, 100. I think since we're low on 50s and I like to use smaller bills of the post office, for now I'm gonna keep this one as it, as it is. Gifts has 246 and this is in a crazy, this is a crazy amount of bills. So let's go ahead and condense this one. So 20, four, five, six. So it does have 246. And I hope that it isn't a boring video because I have the balances and I'm just making sure this is right and putting it in smaller bills, but this is just the way it worked out. Um, so let's see. So we have 50, 100, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 245, and 246. So we have 246 here. So the rest goes in here to, to make up for the bills that we took. So I promise you it all works out as long as this is 246 right here. I will double I will double check this one. But it'll be nice to get it in smaller bills. And sometimes I do use $50 bills for gifts. So I like the way we ended up with a few smaller bills that will come in handy. So we'll just double check this one. So 51, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 245, and 246. All right, excellent. So now we're gonna move along and I do just wanna tell you guys that I made these envelopes and these matching trackers. So a couple, I've been getting a couple questions about it. So just wanted to let you know I did make them. Okay, so now we have hair and ooh, we have a 100. So we have 200 in here exactly. So we're gonna save the 100 and then we're gonna switch most of this in for 
smaller bills. So let's see, what do we want to keep? Let, let's go ahead and make sure it is 100. So 10, nine, 200. So let's put all the ones back and let's actually just put everything back for now. And we have tens. So we have, we need to make 100 more dollars. So let's do 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 200. And I like that variety of bills for my hair envelope. Okay, now we have children. So for my kids, 150. And this is in tens, fives, and ones. So we're gonna put these back and get smaller bills as well. So 10, 20, 9, Awesome. So let's do 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 140, and 150. And I will tell you, if anyone's disappointed that I don't have more 100s and 50s, for a lot of these, like children, I wouldn't put hundreds and fifties in there because they usually need like 20 or 40 at a time for something. So I do need some of the smaller bills. I just don't need as many ones, fives, and tens. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 140, and 150. I want to be super careful. I put in the right amount so that in the end, when I go to count this, it's cor the correct amount. So we'll move on to little Diego, little Mr. Juan Diego man. He has 4,100. What a lucky, handsome dude. Okay, so 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 in the bank. And then we just have 100 that we can condense. So we do have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So I'm going to grab, I just filmed a video where I had $3 left over. I'm going to take these $2 because... I want to save this $2 bill from Ren, from her dog Lupin. I want to save that. So I'm going to put this in its place. And so it still is 100, but now we can make it smaller. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And I'll put these back and that should make it right. Okay. That would be really cool if we could do a $5,000 placeholder, but we were at, I think we were at 5,000 this year that we saved for him, but we've been needing to use it. So 50, 70, 90, 100. So we have 4,100 and I'll just put this in the back. Okay. All right, so now we have medical. Medical is another really thick envelope. So we're gonna condense that. We have 1,500 in here, so. I can tell you that with just the one prop bill, this is going to be $500. I do wish I had some more larger bills, but again, it is what it is. Okay. And I hate that saying, but sometimes it's just appropriate. So let's move this over and we're going to keep this. Oh, wait a second. It's exactly 500. So all of this is going to the side. So let's make sure this is 500. And then we're going to get a $500 prop bill out. So 100. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 500. Okay. So. We do have 500 in here. So before I forget, let's write it down on this sheet that we're putting 500 in the bank for, we'll put Diego. I'm not sure when this video is going to go out, but I'll tell you I'm filming it on November 2nd, a Saturday. So as of today, I have three brand new Etsy items for my shop completed. And I have three more I'm working on and I want to wait till I'm all caught up on orders and have six new items. I've actually, I'm working on the three others before I launch the items. So that way you guys can get them a little faster. So I'm super excited about that. And let's see, we're almost done here sorting these and that looks about right. 
So now we need to grab a $500 prop bill so that we can, there we go. So that will represent the 500 we're putting in the bank for Diego. So that is cool. Wait a second. Nope, medical, sorry, we were on to medical. <laughs> All right. And then we have self care that has 400 in it. So let's just condense these bills since we can't do a prop bill yet. So 124. nine two hundred so it is two hundred so we're gonna do twenty so twenty forty sixty eighty one twenty forty sixty eighty two so we'll put that over there and now we'll speed this up while I put these bills away in the tray okay so let's go ahead and count and just make sure let's see we were on self-care for four hundred so let's make sure this is indeed 400. So 100, 200, 220, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320, 40, 60, 80, 400. Okay, so this was the binder that was crazy, crazy, crazy fat. And now look at it. See, who cares if we didn't have 50s and 100s? Look at that. Look how thin that is. This is awesome. This is so exciting. I can't even tell you. All right, so now we have two more binders we're going to do. We will start with my daughter's, and I don't know how much we have in here, but we'll see. See if we can make these any thinner, because these are a little bit thick just because I have multiple challenges in these. So we'll just quickly flip to the money portion. I'll find the money in these. Okay, so I must have just finished a challenge in here because there's no cash there. So we'll just keep moving along. I know I finished two challenges. All right, there's no money in that one either. They must have been the two front ones that we finished. Okay, now let's see. All right, here, we got some money here. Okay, so I have to be careful because this isn't written down. So we need to be careful here. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 65. So 40, 50, 60, and 5. And then we'll put this over here. And then we've got some ones. So that is the smallest it can be right now. I try to go quickly and not worry about how the bills look or anything like that. We just want to condense them. So in this one, we have 20. We're going to keep the 20. So we have 10, 20. This might be fat, slower, but we'll just do the 20. And then 5, 10, 15, 20. We'll put these fives away and grab a, tw a 20. Oops, wrong direction. And then we have three. So that should, so $63. Okay, so that should be the smallest it can get. Make sure this is still recording. Excellent. Okay, moving along, we have, so we'll keep the 20s again, 10, 20, 30. 31, 2, 3, 34. So all I can do is one more 20. So I'll take that 10 out. And now 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 74 dollars. This is kind of neat finding out how much money is in are in these challenges because I did not know. Okay, for Ellie's challenge, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. So 20. 40, 60, and look at all these smaller bills we have. That's awesome. Took all of those out of binders. You know, we as YouTubers, sometimes we struggle to find smaller bills or to get to the bank to get them for, for our videos. And then we have too many, so we take them out. And then when we go to use these binders again, we're not going to be able to make change. So it's a, it's that vicious cycle. So 20, 40, 61, 2, and $63. Our next one, let's see if we can do anything here. So 20 there and then 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 
So we'll take out 20 and 40. And then we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect. We are running out of room on these. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 70. Well, that's a lot in that one already. Okay, and here we have 10, 15, 16. So we can't do anything. So 40, 55, 56. Oh, and we only have 120 left, wow. All right. So 10, 20. We'll take that last, oh, there's a bunch. I don't, it was just looks so nice. It didn't look like there were any behind it. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so one more 20, okay. So five, 10, 15, 20. You just switch those fives. And then we have $60 here and then 70, one, two, and three, 73. I think we're almost done with this binder. We're getting toward the end. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61. Perfect. So 20, 40, 60, and there's the one. I hope our bank needs smaller bills because they're about to get them today. So there is the $61. And now this one I think is, yeah, this is pretty thick. So 10... 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So $90 there. So we can keep 110 and then 20, 40, 60, 80. And there's the other 10. So this all goes back. Oh, Diego's barking. I think some of our friends just stopped by and they were on the sitting on the couch and then they got up. And whenever anyone one stands up that doesn't live here, well, sometimes Max too, he barks. So eight, $90, perfect. And then this is our last envelope. Oh, it broke, that's right. <laughs> it broke, so we're just making do. This has a ton of smaller bills in it, so... Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to move that to the side. So 10. Six. So put the six there. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So 106 is over here. I thought I saw a star note. I did. Okay. So this is going to go back in our envelope. And these are going to go to the side. See if we can fit any more in. <laughs> and then these tens go away. Wow. We have quite the pile of money. So this goes back in here. That is so much thinner. And... I guess I kind of snapped it a little bit. Anyway, it is so thin, you guys. It is wonderful. So we only have one more binder left. So if you're still watching, you are a trooper. <laughs> and we are almost done. So one more. And this is my son Max's binder. And we will see what we can do in here. I do wish I had bills higher than 20, but that's okay. And there Diego goes again. I'm so sorry, you guys. So... We have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 7, 8, 9, 41. So 20, 40, and I kept the one here. So not as much back and forth. Okay, so we have $81. That's awesome. And we're still at the beginning of this challenge. That's great. The next one, we have, okay, now we are running out of 20s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 52. So 
five and five is 10, 20. Do we just have, no, we have a few. Okay, I just made that difficult. I don't know why, I'm sorry. So 10, 20, 30, 35, and 40. And let's take the 40 out right away. <laughs> Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 70, 72 dollars. This one definitely can condense this. So two, we only have two 20s left. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Just kind of disappointing, but I will keep going. And then we do have a bunch of 10s. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we can just do 20. So 5, 10, 15, and 20. And I'll take two 10s. And then we'll count that again. Of course, I don't remember the initial amount we counted, but I know you guys do, and you'll tell me if I messed it up. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, and 99 dollars in this envelope. Do you like that? I just threw the money in. Okay, moving on. So we're down to tens, so we can't, we cannot condense anything in here. It already is. So let's see if we can do anything in any more of these. And next time I do a condensing, I will go, th this was kind of a trial. Next time I'll go back to my original way, which is to pull out like $2,000 in hundreds and fifties. But this is fine too. Even if we have some smaller bills, it will be easier for making change. So we're just looking for smaller than 10. So we can switch two fives here for a 10. I'm actually going to move the tens and break up the fives because they're taking too long to get back in. So then I'm just going to put this back in order. There's no need to count it. So we'll just go like that. And then we will keep moving along and see if we can do anything else. Okay, so we can switch these two fives for a ten. See, I count when it makes sense to, but I don't when it doesn't. <laughs> All right. Has to be some more things we can do in here. Yep. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 dollars. So 10, 20, and 30. Just put that in order and put it right back in. Okay, so for Lemon Ivy, what can we do in here? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So I'm going to put these away. That's 50. And 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'll add the other tens to it, and then we have three ones left. So that is as small as we can make it. All right, we have a couple left, and then we're going to count this up and make sure it is the correct amount. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 35, 37. So we will... 5, 10, 15, 25. Yeah, that should be 30 right there. Then we'll take 10, 20, and 30. And now this one is all set. And the last envelope. It's very, very thick. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
70, I believe. I think I messed this up and I already put the money in. 70. Okay, you guys, I think I messed this up. Now I'm not going to be able to tell. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then one, two, three, four, five. So if anything is off in counting this, we'll know it had to do with this last envelope. I knew I shouldn't have put the money in, but I said, no, I'm doing good. I won't make a mistake or forget. And I did. So, oh, well. So this is where, this is the moment of truth, you guys. Let me pull this money aside. And right here, it shows that we switched bills or we're putting money in the bank. We're putting $2,000 in the bank and we're putting 500 to each of these four savings accounts. So that means that we should have this exact amount. We should have, even though we switched bills up, we should have $2,000 right here. I'll tell you for sure I'm gonna write this down while I do this so I don't mess up. So we need to come up with $2,000. And if we didn't make any mistakes, there will be $2,000 in here. So I'm going to do it by 20s, 10s, 5s, and 1s. And there'll be a lot of speeding up, so you don't have to sit through this all. But I am going to start and hope it's correct. And I just realized we don't even have 20s. So we'll start with the 10s. Okay, you guys, so we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6, 7, 800. So I'm going to write this down right now. I'm going to put an 8 there. 800 and 10, 20, 30, 40. So 800 and 40 and 10s. So that is what I got. So hopefully that's right. And I'm not going to try to put this back in the cash tray. I am just going to set it to the side. Then we have $5 bills and I'm going to do a similar thing because there are a lot of these to count. So we'll go ahead and have this sped up. Twenty. Okay, so let me double. Something ha funky happened at the end. Let me just double check this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so we have one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six, seven, eight, nine hundred. And 25. So I'm, I'm just actually going to put 905. And I'm going to add the 20 up here. So instead of 840, it's 860. So that way it's properly represented. So that was just me messing up. So let's go ahead and see how many ones we need to have to make 2,000. So I do have a calculator here. So 2,000 minus 860 minus 905. We need to have 235 $1 bills. That is going to take me forever to count. Okay, well, I'm going to count them, but luckily you don't have to watch the entire time because we're going to speed it up for you.
All right, you guys, I'm bringing you back. We are gonna see how it's going. So we needed $235 in ones to mean that we didn't make any mistakes. So 235 is what we need. We have 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, 225. So we're $10 shy. So if this is $10, I didn't make any mistakes. So, okay, deep breath. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We did it. Yay. I cannot believe that came out correctly. I am so, so happy, you guys. That is crazy. So let me just gather this all together to show you how much we condensed in our binders. I can't even hold it all together, but let's see how thick that stack is. So that is crazy, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this for a thumbnail so Matt can make a thumbnail. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please tell me if you did, if you want me to try to do these more often since it's been so long since I've done one. Let me know if you enjoyed the way I did it and stuff like that. I hope you have a great rest of your day whenever this gets posted and I appreciate you all. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, leave me a comment. You guys are the best. I love you all. I'll see you later. Bye.